Advancing Next Generation Assessment with the Every Student Succeeds Act's Innovative Assessment Demonstration Authority. When Congress enacted the Every Student Succeeds Act, it really gave states an unprecedented opportunity to rethink their assessment systems and partner with districts to come up with a better and more positive experience for students. The Every Student Succeeds Act, or ESSA, signed into law in 2015, is the latest reauthorization of the Elementary and Secondary Education Act of 1965. New Hampshire, Louisiana, and Puerto Rico applied for the first round of the Innovative Assessment Demonstration Authority under Section 1204 of ESSA, which gives states the opportunity to pilot innovative, next-generation assessment systems. The Innovative Assessment Pilot allows states to try things that are clearly different from what they're doing with their regular statewide assessment. And most importantly, participating in the pilot allows the states to try something quite innovative with only a subset of districts, as opposed to having to do it statewide all at once. New Hampshire and Louisiana each have different motivations for applying for the Innovative Assessment Pilot but their hopes for deeper and more meaningful learning are quite similar. In Louisiana, as, as across the country, in spite of a lot of gains that we've seen in the literacy of younger students, we see that our older students are having real challenges with being proficient readers and, and comprehending what they read and knowing that tests inevitably play a role in the, in the performance and the approach the teachers take in the classroom. We thought it'd be worth looking at whether or not uh, changing the test could actually help changing the classroom and in doing so, changing the reading levels of our kids. White hopes the pilot will enable Louisiana to create rich English language arts assessments that draw on the knowledge and skills students have gained from reading full-length texts as part of their regular curriculum. So teachers can be more effective and the state can provide a more equitable approach to literacy. This approach advances our equity agenda uh, first and foremost because teaching kids to read is uh, one of the most, if not the most important thing that schools can, can do to equip all students to participate as citizens in the economy, no matter their uh, race, ethnicity, gender, etc. New Hampshire has been operating under a waiver from the federal testing requirements to implement PACE, Performance Assessment of Competency Education. PACE offers a reduced level of standardized testing along with locally developed common performance assessments that are designed to support deeper learning through competency-based education. I'm hopeful that through this 1204 waiver, through the PACE project, we'll really be able to create opportunities in all of our schools to create really deep performance assessment opportunities for our students to be able to get good learning uh, in those schools and as well, what it will do is create a vehicle for that innovation and start some of those innovation conversations in schools where it hasn't yet taken hold. I think we're making a much richer curriculum by integrating these projects into what we're doing. But we have to recognize it's a system of individual students, each of whom has a pathway uh, towards a bright future. And so this innovative waiver that we can get from the federal government will help us to craft you know, kind of personalized pathways to success for each of our students. With lectures or just taking notes or doing book work, students out of sight, out of mind, they forgot it. But this way they're actually really able to apply their knowledge and remember what they learned. And I'm hoping that's having a lasting effect. The one thing that we really need to remember is this is not a race towards one type of assessment design. This is an opportunity for states to come up with their own vision, with their own assessment design, um, and most importantly, with the timeline that works for their community. I think states will be really successful um, if leaders at all levels of the system really come together to support um, real change with a, a true spirit of continuous improvement. I think if there's one thing we in Louisiana have learned about implementation, it's that starting first with practitioners, the most creative, enterprising practitioners that you have in your state on any project, giving them the mission to uh, innovate on behalf of the rest of the state, and then scaling and regulating the policy subsequent to the pilot, that's the best way of making policy. If successful, this pilot could be a bridge between the ESSA and our nation's next federal K-12 education law. We're hopeful that the lessons we learn as we embark on this journey will help create a compelling policy framework that supports next-generation assessment design.
To learn more about the Innovative Pilot, visit InnovativeAssessments.org.